Hi, in this video you're going to discover how to use the Snowflake connector for ServiceNow to synchronize data from your ServiceNow instance to Snowflake. First, access the Snowflake marketplace and choose Snowflake connector for ServiceNow. And here you get a description of the connector and you can activate it with GET. Click on the options and you will see the database name where the connector will be installed. You can choose the compute which will be used to insert data inside Snowflake. In this case, I prepared a warehouse called ServiceNow Warehouse, and you can choose the roles which will access the data. When it's done, click on Manage, and then you get the, the native application screen, which allows you to manage your application. Here, you insert your ServiceNow instance, and then you choose the authentication method, in my case, Auth. You copy the redirect URL, which will be used within ServiceNow to set up the connector. You will need a client ID and a client secret. Let's get it on ServiceNow. Within my admin console, I look for Auth and then Application Registry. In the Application Registry, I can create a new Auth API endpoint uh, for the external clients and I give it a name. In this case, I call it Snow Connect and this is where I will get my client ID and my client secret auto generated. I put in my redirect URL and save. Now my client ID and client secrets get generated, so I can get both values from the console and paste them into Snowflake to enable our authentication. The client ID first and then the client secret. I get it from ServiceNow and copy it within Snowflake. Now the connection gets established from ServiceNow to Snowflake. When this is approved, I can start uh, configuring the replication from ServiceNow to Snowflake. You see the database is called Snowflake Covered Connector for ServiceNow. In the configuration, I choose the warehouse which will be used for our replication, the ServiceNow warehouse in my case, and then I can set a destination database and schema where the data will be replicated. Finally, a role will be uh, created to access and manage the connector and a journal table will be created to manage the deleted records. Now that the connector is successfully configured, I can choose which tables I will actually replicate from ServiceNow. In this case, we will look for three tables, the tasks, the incident, and the deletes. You choose the task table, which will be synced every 30 minutes, then the incident table, which I will sync every three hours in this case, just for example. And finally, the sys audit delete table, which will show the deleted records. In this case, for example, syncing it every hour. Now, when you click on updating, the, the load will start. For example, you can also set email alerts. You input an email. In this case, I input my own email and I will get an alert if anything goes wrong with the connector immediately. And now everything is set up. You just have to wait a few seconds that the load is completed for the initial synchronization. When it's completed, you can now start accessing data, in my case, for the, the three tables which have been replicated. So let's open a worksheet and get working. Service now connector. And here I can select from the public schema the connector stats table, which gets created automatically. And it gives me statistics about all the runs which have replicated data from ServiceNow to my Snowflake instance. You can see the number of updated rows, the throughput, the duration for each of the run. Then you have a config table, which lets you see the concurrency, the, the version of the connector, and then I set up an alert to my email so you can see the, the alert information. When you want to actually query data, you can use a role. In this case, I use the role account admin to create a new role, service now reader role, and I grant it all the necessary privileges to access the data. Finally, I grant that new role to my user, M. Simon, and I use that role to access data. So within the destination schema, I prepared here a sample query. I will go query the task view, the incident view and the sys audit delete view which gets created automatically by snowflake and in this case i do a simple aggregation by year and by month 
and by priority of the number of incidents created. So each month I can see the number of incidents created by priority. In this case, one incident in 2023 was created for the level of priority 5. Now if I go and check the objects, I can see in the service now destination DB, the tables, I have all these tables which got replicated. For example, the incident table, you can see a sys ID, then an is deleted flag and an update date, and then you have the raw data. It gets imported as a JSON, and in the background, Snowflake will create views, which were queried before, where you basically flatten the JSON. So all the columns within the JSON, we define them, we define a data type, and they are directly queryable. You can see all the data here, which is prepared for each incident. Thank you.